Welcome to Lesson 5. Structural Conflict Success is impersonal. Success is structural. Today, let's look at the structural conflict. What is a structure? A structure is a term that refers to a single thing with parts, and these parts have an impact upon one another. A body has a structure, a chair, a song, a building, anything with individual parts, like an identity. What is tension? Tension is formed by the difference between one thing and another. For example, hunger is a tension formed by the difference between the desired amount of food the body wants and the actual amount of food the body has. This tension seeks resolution. In another word, an end to the difference, one in which the desired amount of food and the actual amount of food are actually the same. The basic of tension. Tension is formed by discrepancy or the difference between one thing and another. A simple example of attention is thirst. There is a discrepancy between how much liquid the body needs and how much it actually has at any moment. Discrepancy creates a tension that in turn produces a tendency for behavior towards action that end the discrepancy. Thirst is resolved by drinking liquid until the body's actual state is the same as the body's desired state. Tension is formed by a discrepancy between two elements. Here is the body's desired level of fluid with the body actual level of fluid. Tension creates a tendency for movement. Tension is resolved when the discrepancy ends. What is structural tension? Structural tension is formed by two elements. A clear idea of the outcome you want to create and a clear idea of where you are now in relation to that outcome. Where you are now in relation to where you want to be. The contrast between two points create a very useful form of tension. Once we form structural tension, something special happens. Our minds begin to conceive a way to accomplish the goal. We do this in order to resolve the tension. The mind, like everything else in nature, wants to resolve tension. So when you present it with productive tension based upon the difference between the outcome you want to create and your current reality in relation to your goal, it goes to work. The mind becomes especially creative as it cooks up ideas to bring the current state to the desired state, definitely ending the difference between the two and resolving the tension. Once tension is formed, it contains within it a dynamic, the tendency to move from one condition to another. Tension possesses it its own generative drive, which gives rise to an impetus to move away from the state of tension towards a resolution. Tension seeks resolution. Whenever a tension exists, it will strive for resolution. While structural tension is produced by a simple tension resolution system, structural conflict results from a more complex structural arrangement. Two competing tensions resolution system based on two competing goals. When an individual oscillates, structural conflict is in place. First, let's study how the structure works in a simple example. Hunger produces a tension that is resolved by eating. But if we are overweight, our actual weight is a discrepant with our desired weight. We may form another tension resolution system. Each system moves towards its own resolution. It competes with the conflicting system. First, the dominant tension is hunger. In order to resolve the tension, we eat. Each system moves towards its own resolution. It competes with the conflicting system. First, the dominant tension is hunger. In order to resolve this tension, we eat. In order to resolve this tension, we may eat less or skip meals. We may lose some pounds and begin to feel better about our weight, but the body reacts to reduction of fat and protein by sending a starvation warning, triggering the brain's abstat. It causes an increasing discrepancy between the body's desired amount of food and actual amount of food. Hunger once again becomes the trigger tension as the brain relays the message, eat, eat. Eat. Structural conflict exists when two tension resolution systems within the same structure have points of resolution that are mutually exclusive. 
Each system creates its own tendency. It moves forwards its own resolution. But as each system resolves, the tension in the competing system increases. Structural conflicts produce oscillating behavior. As one competing tension resolution system moves toward resolution, the other tension resolution system becomes dominant. Less tension in the one leads to more tension in the other. This change produces a shift of dominance but this shift is not permanent. Once the new higher tension begins to move forward its resolution, there is another shift of dominance back to the original, creating an oscillating pattern. Identity versus ideal conflict. We have an internal structural conflict that is based on set of beliefs that thinks we don't have it in us to create the vision we desire. This identity versus ideal conflict is the basis of all frustration and oscillation. Okay, now we're going to do an exercise. It's a very fun exercise. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil. And what one thing would you love to create more than anything in your life? Write it down. Stop the video and write it down. Think about it. And now sit there, close your eyes, relax, and go into your heart and witness this and resolve from the perspective of your superconscious or your genius. What did you notice? How did it feel? What actions are motivated? Write them down. Stop and write them down. Go into your identity and witness this end result from the perspective of what having the end result means to you. What did you notice? How did it feel? What action are motivated? Write them down. What is the difference? What would you recognize moving forward? Now go through the five steps of superconscious creation. Choose the truth and follow through.